So I wanted to talk about remarkable content um, because last week on my blog I showed a video of uh, Brian Halligan of HubSpot and he mentioned that the one of the first things nonprofits should do is have remarkable content first and then do social media. So um, remarkable content is not about the technology. It's not about f a funky flash video or some flashy website. It has nothing to do with that. It actually has to do with some essential nature of the actual content itself. Okay, it doesn't matter what medium you're using. It could be text, video, anything. Okay, um, but the the three things that I think about when I think about remarkable content would be uh, value and utility, um, humor, and uh, expressing a core value. Value and utility. It, it's content that has immediate value and people can get a lot out of it right away. People want to talk about that and they say, you have to check this out. Go to this website, check it out, it's really great. And two blogs that I can think of that are a great example of this would be Zen Habits. You go there, you read something, you can apply it right away. Chris Garrett is another one. You go there, he, he writes a blog about blogging. Um, and anything on that blog you can use right away. Same thing with uh, Grant Griffiths, okay? And those links are at the bottom of the page. The second one that I mentioned is humor. And people, people love to laugh, obviously. And if somebody finds something really funny, oh my God, you gotta check this out, they pass it on, they start talking about it. Again, remark able, they remark about it, okay? The uh, example would be 25 things I hate about Facebook at the bottom of this video. It's awesome. I love it. The third point is that remarkable content would express a core value that all human beings share. Um, so one thing that nonprofits get a little bit too caught up in is, oh, let's talk about our nonprofit and the latest news and what we're doing. And the reality is that not a lot of people really, really care about that, uh, but a lot of people really care about the issues that you're trying to support. So, for example, there's an organization called Girl Effect, um, girleffect.org, and if you look at that, um, the, uh, me the video that they created, you'll see, after watching it, you'll realize that it's actually not about Girl Effect, the organization. It's really about the power of a single woman given, given the opportunity to have a tremendous impact on the world. And that really touches people at the core. So that's, that's remarkable and it really touches, and touches something at home in people's hearts. Um, so those are the things about remarkable content that I think people should think about. Value and utility, humor, it's gotta be funny, and something that really touches the core value that all people share.